It's been quite a while now since Ronda Rousey has been on our screens in any professional format. She was meant to return recently on WWE Raw, but was in some controversy because of it. So stay tuned to today's video, as we discuss the big update on when Ronda Rousey is expected to join back WWE. First up we have, when is Ronda Rousey expected to come back to the WWE in a professional way? There was a lot of excitement recently surrounding who may or may not have been appearing in the latest WWE. Raw on August the 1st. Lost in all of this was the fact that Ronda Rousey is actually in a little bit of trouble in her on-screen storyline. She's currently serving a suspension for her actions at the WWE SummerSlam, though it seems like some new information that has leaked suggests that she'll not be gone for that long at all. Many fans had expected her to be out of the WWE for a decent amount of time, but it seems like from these leaks, she's coming back sooner than many expected. It has been leaked that she's been booked for a Cardiff show. This was said by Dave Meltzer when he was discussing her suspension on the morning edition of Wrestling Observer Radio. He had this to say, so she's going to be unsuspended at least before that. I don't know how long, but it's not going to be a month. To put it that way, because she's got to be back for the PPV show. Her suspension came as a result of Rousey attacking a referee after she lost to Liv Morgan at SummerSlam. The former UFC star tap out and Rousey was counted down for three counts. This allowed Morgan to keep the smile SmackDown women's title and caused the storyline to happen. She has actually had a lot of good fortune over the last few months as she won SmackDown Women's Championship not too long ago. However, she did lose the title to Morgan as we just said, and definitely wants it back. This is all we have on this topic right now, as we don't actually know the specifics on when Ronda Rousey might return to the WWE. It might be in a few weeks or even in a few months, but we don't know just yet. There is a discourse online right now revolving around when she might return, so if you want more information on that, please check out social media platforms like Twitter to get the information. Many is suggesting she will return in the next WWE Raw, but we don't know just yet. Please let us know down in the comments section below what do you think about Ronda Rousey coming back to the WWE, and also tell us your thoughts on her recent loss to Morgan. And now on to some other WWE news and information from the last few weeks. Next up, John Cena is returning as Peacemaker amid possible retirement rumors from the WWE. John Cena has become a very popular actor over the last few years, as he's been in multiple roles. Despite having a really popular career in acting, people still want him to return to the WWE and he has on many occasions. However, it's been a decent amount of time since he has returned, and many fans are wondering if he's retired from the WWE forever. In recent interviews, he kind of dodged the question about retirement, and hasn't said anything specific on whether or not he's finished with that part of his career. However, he has been in the news a decent amount recently after the possibility of Peacemaker Season 2 being cancelled appeared. If you didn't already hear, DC has started cancelling projects out of nowhere, such as Batgirl and Gotham Knights. They said they wanted to start returning to cinematic experiences and stray away from television and streaming experiences. When this was said, many fans were wondering what the status around Peacemaker Season 2 and many other shows would be. However, it wasn't announced by DC and James Gunn himself that Peacemaker Season 2 is going ahead. This is very fortunate as most projects that James Gunn has been working on for DC are safe which includes Peacemaker Season 2. This isn't too surprising but is reassuring as many other projects were cancelled. Fans just wanted to know if their beloved series would be returning. DC had a surprise success with Peacemaker as the HBO Max show drew in plenty of viewers week in and week out. It was both critically and commercially acclaimed which made Peacemaker Season 2 an instant announcement even before the final episode of Season 1 had aired. Taking away Peacemaker Season 2 would be a very big mistake for the company, especially after all the scrutiny they've been under for the recent decisions. From an optics standpoint, Warner Discover isn't making the right moves at the moment. The cancellation of Batgirl shook Hollywood. The film was essentially complete, with $90 million sunk into the production. With Leslie Grace in The Heights starring, the movie would have been the first DCEU film with a Latina star. Add to the fact that there's a lack of female-led superhero films and cancelling Batgirl was not exactly the best decision for the company. What makes it worse is the fact that the company is making a strong push forward for The Flash, 
which has faced multiple PR problems thanks to Star Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller's numerous legal issues make it seem like The Flash is an obvious case of more trouble than it's worth. But apparently, Warner is happy with the movie. Rumors say that Batgirl wasn't testing well with audiences, leading them to cutting the film for tax reasons. While the decision to keep Cena and Peacemaker Season 2 around is a sound one, the other decisions made by the company have been questionable. What do you think about DC's recent announcement and the idea of John Cena possibly retiring from the WWE forever? Please let us know down in the comments section below. Also, tell us your thoughts on John Cena as an actor overall as he is one of the only successful WWE offshoot actors right now. And finally, The Rock gave John Cena some heartwarming advice on going into Hollywood. The final piece of news and information for this video is based around The Rock and John Cena's relationship in Hollywood. These two are some of the only successful WWE actor attractions to have happened. Both stars have a respective list of great films and have had amazing careers over the last few years. Their acting prowess has evolved a lot over this time, and both have really surpassed the idea of a brainless WWE fighter. The Rock was the person to pave the way for someone like Cena to do what he's doing right now. It was revealed at Comic-Con recently that The Rock gave some incredible advice to John Cena when he was starting his acting career. He said this at a Wales Comic-Con. I was able to ask him, hey man, do you have any advice? He said, they asked you there for a reason, dude. Just be yourself. He, in that one sentence, allowed me to calm down, allowed me to be myself, which I'm really a goofball. And the movie Trainwreck allowed me to do that on screen, naked. He's the reason I'm here. The relationship between these two has always been interesting, and is perhaps worthy of a Hollywood film in the future. They are obviously some of the last professional fighters to stick around in public perception and were even rivals at one point. They could both sell tickets whilst gluing people to the screens and have moved into a completely different medium doing the same thing. Both of these actors came across as very humble and talk deeply about that craft. They both come across as nice and it's very clear why John Cena has become a WWE ambassador when they need it. The business these two bring is just incredible to both besides of the market. From being on the face of their movies to bringing in ticket sales for their return to the WWE. Of course, it's been a decent amount of time for both fighters, but much longer for The Rock as he's been focusing on his acting career for the last decade or so. In the last decade, both of these actors have really grown as people and have gained a massive fan base. The Rock was already a household name for many, but has become even more popular as he's featured in multiple children's films and franchises. His next on-screen appearance is as Black Adam in the film titled the same name. Just like John Cena, he's within the DC universe, so we could possibly see these two on screen at the same time as their famed characters. What do you think about both these guys' careers? And the advice that John Cena was given, let us know below. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye!